And then we're gonna get underway. Now, getting into the topic of today's video, uh, especially when driving a pickup truck on a long road trip, something you're gonna be worried about is gas mileage. And that is a big, big trade-off with driving a pickup truck or a Suburban or some larger vehicle. You are not gonna get very good gas mileage, at least not as good as you're gonna get on a car. Now, having said that, I do want to reiterate the fact that pickup trucks and larger vehicles are literally highway princesses. They're designed for two things. They're designed for highway driving and they're designed for off-road driving. They are terribly difficult to drive in towns. They're not the best experience there. Bigger vehicles ride amazingly on the highway. Now I say that they're more stable on the highway because they simply have more uh, surface coverage on the ground. The tires are bigger, the tires are wider, and they span a much wider distance apart from each other when compared with a car. So the wide wheelbase, the fact that they're so stable, makes highway travel, especially long road trips, so smooth and so comfortable. Uh, I would definitely recommend if you are gonna do a long road trip and you're choosing between the pickup and the car, if it's a very long road trip and you want comfort and safety, go with the pickup truck. That's another big thing on these vehicles is safety. Now, I have heard it said many times that cars are better at avoiding crashes, and that is very, very true. But if you are going to be involved in an accident, a pickup truck or a larger vehicle like a Suburban or an Expedition excursion, they are gonna be much better in an accident. Now, hopefully you don't have to worry about that too much on your long road trips. Keep in mind that I drive primarily through Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana, which means that I am constantly faced with wildlife. If you are gonna hit a deer or something in a car, it can be very, very dangerous. And so for my long road trip or highway road trip, and especially nighttime vehicle, I will go 100% with the pickup truck over the Saab or any other car that I might have available to, be dr to drive. So, so far my two points are comfort and safety. Uh, of course, for the comfort and the safety, you're trading off gas mileage, which is unfortunate. Now my pickup is the 2004 with the three valve 5.4 liter Triton V8. It puts out about 310 horsepower but for the power, it really doesn't sacrifice much gas mileage. In fact, on the open road, on the highway, I get anywhere from 18 to 21 miles to the gallon. 21 on a really good day. We're probably getting like 18 miles today because the wind is blowing a little bit. But yeah, so even in a pickup truck, you can expect decent gas mileage. It's not gonna be like your car that's gonna get anywhere from 26 to probably 35 which can save you a ton of money traveling in a car or in a smaller vehicle, but are the trade-offs worth it? That's what I hope to help you guys figure out in today's video. So a big truck's definitely going to shine on the highway. It's gonna help you out when there's not a lot of traffic around and they're definitely gonna be a lot safer. But something that I love and that really gets my attention when it comes to taking road trips in a bigger vehicle is the fact that there is so much more room on the inside. If you're gonna cram a lot of people into the vehicle with you for your road trip, I would suggest that you take the SUV or the pickup truck, the bigger vehicle. Just the fact that they are a bigger vehicle uh, means that you're gonna have added comfort on the inside. You're gonna have more room to put things. You're gonna have more room to play or to relax. Whereas in a car, you're a little bit tighter on space. Now, it's weird that I am making this video being alone today. I don't have another vehicle to drive, but if I was alone and I'm traveling home or somewhere, then that's not gonna be a big deal for me. I could take the car, throw my carry-on in it, and be on my way, saving on gas. If I was gonna be driving at night, I definitely would recommend the pickup truck. They're so much higher, and they usually offer four sets of lights on front. Uh, some of you know that I am getting a light bar to put on the front of this, and that's gonna help me in Wyoming. So those are kind of my ideas when it comes to taking a larger vehicle on a road trip. Uh, besides those main points, you do need to know that they will climb up and down mountains a lot better than on a car. 
and uh, cornering in this vehicle is not going to be as fun or as good as it would be on a car. So if you're going to take a long road trip through switchbacks or something like that, then you probably should consider taking your car depending on how long it is and how fast you want to get there because I will have to slow down today when compared to other smaller vehicles going through Yellowstone. Uh, simply because of the tight corners and the tight curves. So there you have it guys Those are kind of my points to should you take your large vehicle on a road trip or what is a pickup like to drive on a road trip? They are more roomy the rides a lot more comfortable and they're safer They also offer a little bit more power, but your trade-offs are definitely going to be your gas mileage and uh cornering so i guess that's it for this video guys if you have noticed i haven't released a lot of videos lately and that's because my life has been so so crazy i am now at college in rexburg i'm taking 18 credits of classes and i've traveled home the last two weekends now to help my parents with the project that uh, they've got going on so i don't know when i'm going to get this video edited but uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of great content to come, especially regarding this pickup truck. I am maybe looking for another car, some project, something I can do content on. Uh, I am selling the 9.5. And uh, with that said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit that like button. Please leave your comments, your suggestions. Uh, maybe you think I'm wrong. Maybe you think I'm right. Maybe I missed a point. Go ahead and put that down below. And, uh, well, I'll catch you guys next time. And we could just fade away into each other's lives. And we could just fade away until we're all right.